And so at, at one point you do link up with Young Money. How does yeah. all that come together? I link up with Young Money because when I was on SRC, uh, like I said, I was just throwing shit out. Uh, bring it back with uh, Lil, I mean, bring it back with Kiss. And, you know, just being from New York, man, I come from that remix era and I'm like, damn, I got to keep the record going. You know, like I got to keep the record going. Funkmaster Flex, shout out to Flex, he put the record on one of his albums and gave it a little more traction. He was doing car shows and shit, so that gave me a reason to, oh, Jay Mills performing live at the Funk Flex car show. Good, you know, good promo. As I got older, I'm like, damn, that was, that was dope that he did that. Good look, too. Gave the record more of a push. And I had a remix. And we got Fab on the remix. Shout out to Fab. We got Fab on the remix. Reached out to Fab. He came through, did the remix, and we was like, "Damn, we need, we, we need. Who else can we get on it? Or should we just keep it with Jay Mills featuring Fabulous?" And then I was like, "Fuck it, let me hit Wayne." You know what I'm saying? I hit him, and he was like, "Yo, come to the studio." Did you already know him at the time? Yeah, I knew him. I knew him through because we was both on Universal, so I knew him through seeing him at All Star Weekend, Memorial Day Weekend, Labor Day Weekend, and I used to do shit like, I used to meet people and be like, "Yo, what's good? My name's Jay Mills," because I'm. Uh, I was a, I'm a fan first. This shit I was I, I'm fresh out of high school and now I'm 19 at Luke parties and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like so to to me, I would meet people and be like, "Yo, what's good? My name is Jay Mills." What's good? Not even knowing I might have met this person two or three times, but they might not remember me. So I'm gonna make sure you remember me. Just you know, <laughs> I remember we was we was in All Star Weekend in Houston, and I remember we was going in the club and I saw Wayne. I gave him a death. He's like, "What's good?" I said, "What's good?" You know, Jay Mills. He said, man, I know, who, I know who you is, man. I know who the fuck you is, man. Like, and I was like, oh, all right. I just laughed. And that was the last time I did that. I'm lying. I did it again, and D-Ray did this. D-Ray Davis did the same shit. Man, I know who the fuck you is, man. Stop telling me who you is. I said, all right, that's, I got to retire. I'm Jay Mills. That shit is a dub. <laughs> shit is over. But I knew Wayne before that, and I reached out to him. He told me come to the studio, and he did it on the spot. Did this shit right on the spot. Free? Free. Okay. And we paid Fab, too. Shout out to Fab. That's not no funny shit, but I, we would have paid Wayne too, because in our in our minds, and when I say we, I mean like me, Tone, Naj, like Warner Blow, the, the 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 team that I was with at that time. Niggas would have paid uh, Wayne too if that's what it what it came to, but he was just like, and I'm not saying F Fab charged us like it was like, no, at that time everybody was charging everybody, but it's just sometimes people would be. A fan and just be like, send it. You know what I'm saying? I can't be mad at Fab if he getting his bread. Like, I'm sizzling right now. This nigga is Jay Mills, but he ain't on my level. So for me to bring him up to my level, it's going to be a little fee. That's fair business. There ain't nothing wrong with that. So we didn't look at it. It was like nothing wrong with it. And from there, I built a relationship with Fab. You know what I'm saying? I like came to the studio and did the verse. And I remember going back to the block. I remember coming back to the block like, yo, this nigga Fab is one of the funniest niggas I've ever met in my life. Like. This nigga got wild personality. Like, yo, I wish y'all niggas would have been in the studio last night. And that's how I got cool with Fab. So sometimes it's business that takes shit a little bit further. And sometimes it's just people be a fan of you. Wayne was like, come to the studio. Crazy thing is I went to the studio and he was already rapping over the beat. Like he was doing a freestyle tour with Jewels. I guess for Can't Feel My Face or something. I'm like, yo, this the beat I was coming to the studio to get you to rap on. He's like, word. I bet I rap over it again. Oh, shit. I remember when he doing it, I'm sitting in the room with Currency. This is like my first time being Currency. Shout out to Spitter. And he's explaining to me the whole Hurricane Katrina shit. And how he went to sleep. It was raining. He was like, fuck it, I'm going to go out and add, go upstairs, some weed. So I woke up in the morning and I had a convertible outside and I just saw the rear view mirror. This is all he's telling, Currency is telling me this about Hurricane Katrina in the lounge as Lil Wayne is in the booth rapping over my shit. And we still don't know if he's going to charge us or not. <laughs> we just like, oh, this is... I'm about to get an invoice. This is, I, don't, I don't know <laughs> what was going to happen with this. And he never charged me. And I think that's what led to me getting with Young Money. That's what led me to put my pride aside and ask him, like, what's up? Because he did another verse for me again after that. Yeah, I had a song called Holla at a Player. After the whole Bring It Back remix with him and Fab, uh, I ended up leaving SRC. Not because of anything with Steve Rifkin. Not because of the music I was making. I was making dope music. I had records with Swiss Beats, Scott Storch, Wayne, Fab, 
Fat Joe, T.I., everybody. So it wasn't the music, it was the business, you know? And that was my first taste of, you could have some dope ass music, you could do all the interviews, you could do all the promos for the big dog pit bulls and the heavy hitters and the core DJs and TJ's DJs and Felly Fell and Flex and DJ Enough and DJ Irie, you know what I'm saying? Greg Street, you're doing all of this shit. But, and you're on these promo runs. You're going to sit with the PDs. You're going to eat fucking Papa John's pizza in the office at the radio station. And these people don't really give a fuck about none of that shit. They just want to, it's free lunch. Free lunch on Universal today. I used to feel that shit when I would get to certain states. You know what I'm saying? So that was my first taste of that. So when I got out of that whole Universal situation, I remember I had a song called Holla at a Player. Recorded the shit in my mom's crib and all that. Because now I'm back in the hood. Recorded the shit in my mom's crib, and I sent it to DJ Enough. He just was playing it for me. And I'm like, damn, I ain't got no deal enough, and he just spending this shit every day. But now I'm smart enough to know that shit ain't free. Not saying, like, I got to pay DJ Enough, but that's a budget out of your deal for radio. and spend, You know, you don't even have a deal right now. Like, so who's... You mean it's going to come back later? No, I mean, like... When you get a record deal, you have a radio budget, you have a recording budget, you know, you got marketing money, you know what I'm saying? They got money to spend at radio for this quarter. They got, so if I don't have a deal, where's my radio budget? So now this is letting me know whoever's playing it, they playing it on the love. Ain't no budget. It ain't no label to call you. It's just. And on top of that, he's playing yours for free when he could be pay, playing someone he's getting paid And for. I'm just sending this shit straight from my Gmail, from my mom's crib on a power book. Not a MacBook, a power book. G4, power book G4. This is before they was even making MacBooks. But who else gonna do it? I'm smart enough, I done been through the Universal, the Warner Brothers, the Motown, the SR. I done been through it enough to know, oh, if you don't have nobody to do it, it's nobody gonna do it. So now I'm sending my shit to all hip hop. Sending my shit to Nah Right. Sending my shit to Hot New Hip Hop. I get a relationship with DJ Ill. Well, you run Hot New. Cool. Now I'm sending. This is what I'm doing for my crib. You know what I'm saying? And I hit Wayne like, yo, I got this highlight of player song, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get in the remix, bet send it to me. I was like, fuck it. Let's just send it to him. Let's see. He might. He might not charge me nothing. Let's just see. He ain't charged me nothing before. Now I'm, I'm being a straight Harlem nigga. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you give me an inch, I'm taking a fucking football fill. Like, nah, I'm, I'm definitely overstepping my boundaries. Like, Mills, I already did a verse for you for free. Can I get another one? Yeah, send it. Make a long story short, he did it again. Didn't charge me. This is when he's doing 400 songs in a year. This is like the height of Lil Wayne. Oh, he must fuck with me. I know this ain't for everybody. This type of this type of respect ain't for everybody. Yo, I want I want to ask you something, cause now I got to put my pride in a cup, swallow it. Fuck the pride, my nigga. Let them know your situation. Let the nigga know you up in the hood with no deal. But you ready to work? Make another long story short. The next day, I was on a flight going to Miami. Mm. That night, I was in the studio in Hit Factory with him and Tez having a conversation. Next week. I was on a roll with Lil Wayne. That shit happened. It, it, I know sometimes these stories I'm telling you, it sound like, that shit ain't just happened like that. It happened just like that. And at some point, shit does slow up. You know what I'm saying? But so when he it, was just starting Young Money at the time? I probably got with Young Money... Mm, 2007, somewhere around there. 2006, 2007, somewhere around there. But it wasn't really what it what it became to be. It wasn't that at that time. It was kind of just like us traveling with Wayne. You know, Jazz was around, but Drake wasn't around yet. Like, he hadn't brought Drake around yet. Like, Nicki was still with, you know, doing come up DVDs and stuff like that. It might have been fucking with Deb and French and Gucci. Tiger might have been with the gym class heroes. You know, Corey Guns might have been with Nick Cannon. We wasn't all, it wasn't all like that ball of fire, young money, every girl in the world just out the rip. That shit just grew. It just grew across time, like doing Dedication 3. That was probably some of the first shit I ever did. Like when y'all heard me on Dedication 3, that was probably some of the first sessions in Hot Beach Studio in Atlanta that I did with Wayne.
Okay, so now you're signed and you go on the road and so you're one of the first members of Young Money. Nah, I'm, I'm never going to say that because then I'm going I'm to I'm get some flack for that. The first members of Young Money was the squad. Squad up. Okay, who was that? Uh, it was Gutta Gutta, Kid Kid, Mario, uh, Soup, and Wayne, uh, T Streets. Damn, man, I hope my I hope my boys don't kill me, man. But I think I got it right. I, I might fee. I might be missing one or two people, but those were the rappers of it. Like if anybody know Wayne, they know Squad Up. So for Jay Mills to say he was one of the original members of Young Money, that wouldn't be solid. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be keeping it a buck. So they was the original members. Um, I think that dissolved, and that's where like Currency and Mac Main came in. And then when Currency, that's when Currency and Mac Main came in. And then I think that's when he started putting together what you seen as Young Money for like We Are Young Money with Corey Guns, Jay Mills, Nicki Minaj, Drake. You know what I'm saying? Lil Twist, Lil Chucky. You know what I'm saying? He just started forming it together. But Squad Up was definitely like, that was the foundation of Young Money. Like Wayne put that together out the rip. Okay. See, look, now look. See how I could have just glazed over that? I didn't even have to tell you that. But that's just me. I could have sat here and been like, oh yeah, I'm one of the original members of Young Money. You know, I was one of the first. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.